Welcome back everyone, this is Victor Campos and I'm showing you using Twitter for your business. On our previous video, we went to search, that is simply typing a search term and interacted with people, tweeted to people. And uh, this is real time, so there's been 95 new tweets. And I've just started to uh, tweet with random people, 20 more tweets, people like cookies. And um, the point of this is, yeah, I'm talking to strangers, and the point is I want to uh, get those strangers to interact with me. And I think I did. If I go up here, I've got a notification. So not the notification screen we've seen on a previous video is where it uh, tells us what um, what has happened. Has anyone followed me? Has anyone replied to me, retweeted me, etc.? Now, I have not checked uh, this notification. We're going to see it live. It'll probably be positive because I've been positive uh, in my tweets, but you never know. So I want to go to notifications. And I've got here um, Tommy Duran replied to me. Uh, so I had tweeted, we work with cookies all day long, but we can't eat cookies all day long. What a conundrum. And he then added, he replied and added to my uh, tweet. He said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take that as a positive, as uh, he's just trying to be fun and uh, reply to me. So actually, this is a very good tweet. Um, there's a lot of nuances that have happened. He replied to, to me, so I get the notification. But actually, the way he replied then was it was also public to his followers. When you reply to someone, and I'll show an example over here, I'll go back to searching cookies. If I click, um, if I click reply to an account, notice that it says the name of the person's account, and whatever I type here, is going to be directed only to that person. It is public, but she will be the first one to see it. Now, Tommy over here did a reply, but notice my what I wrote is included in the reply, in quotes. So what's happening there is that now his followers will see it. Uh, I can prove that by going over to his account. I view his account. Remember, we have the option of viewing tweets and tweets with replies. I'm on tweets. So anyone that follows Tommy or even just goes to his profile will see this tweet. So actually, he did a very cool thing. He replied publicly to and his 11,000 followers saw that tweet, what I wrote, what he wrote. This could then create more interactions, more notifications, because his 11,000 followers could see my witty tweet and his witty reply, and then do a reply, retweet, or favorite, which we'll talk about what these are a little later. But um, this stuff will make a little bit more sense as we continue to use it. But I'm going to um, continue to do to search a little bit more, cookies, 21 results. And uh, I'll show you some other things that we can do with interactions. I showed you that if I reply, that is like sending a message to um, the person. It's not a private message. There's a difference. But uh, the other things that we can do, the interactions are retweets and favorites. So. Um, um, replies that appear here, I, uh, or results that appear here from searching a, a word will either appear because a person has said the word uh, that I'm searching for in their tweet, or that word is in their name. So Courtney is at Cookies and Cream. Uh, remember, you can write any full name that you want with spaces and symbols and everything, but the at name is a little different. So I could um, I could um, uh, 
I like this one. Let's make pizza and Halloween cookies. So if I select a retweet, it'll confirm. Retweet this to your followers. So the purpose of a retweet is that I see some someone's tweet that I like, that I approve, that I want to spread to my followers. And when I select retweet, my followers will see it. I see that when I'm on my home screen where I never followed Lance Yulanoff, but Mashable did, and so they retweeted and now I saw it. So what I could do with that is interact with it. So now my followers will see Victor's Bakery retweeted Amanda. What I've also got is the opportunity to simply favorite Um, if I click favorite, what happens with that is that's sort of like giving a like on Facebook or a plus one on Google+. Plus. Uh, it's a little bit of a thumbs up sort of thing. I liked what uh, Tane, um wrote here, so I gave her a favorite. And the point again of the retweet of the favorite of the reply is for me to get interaction. Um, so I did a favorite, but what I'll also do is I'll reply to her. She says, the idea of letting someone borrow my car is just sounds crazy to me. Lol, I don't even share my chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to reply to that and say, um, we hear that when we bake a batch of cookies it almost makes us sad to sell them now when you interact with people you could be replying with something funny you could also reply with a question a question entices people to answer it and that then creates the interaction so um, we can say um, when was the last time you had a chocolate chip cookie now wait a minute I'm typing this and I get to the point where my words turn red well, I ran out of space. I have 140 characters to tweet. That includes spaces, punctuation, uh, symbols, etc. And so I've gone over my limit, 15 characters. So either I'm going to need to shorten my tweet, uh, edit it somehow, decide what to do. Actually, I'm going to say in this point, I'm just going to leave it with the part that I first said and then tweet that. I'm going to find someone else to ask a question. So I know that more results have appeared, so I'm going to go here. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, hot cocoa cookies. I'm probably not even going to bake cookies. I'm just going to eat the dough. All right, so I'm going to reply to that. Sounds like a great plan. What flavor of cookies, of cookie, will you partake in? So I asked a question. Hopefully I get a reply. And this is a part of social and social media. Let's see what else. If you don't like strawberry wafer cookies or Ashton Irwin, then we can't be friends. So again, you could uh, interact um, for the purpose of getting some uh, notifications of interaction. Uh, that was uh, one way to get um, possible interactions. On our next video, we'll look at some more ways to, uh, to get uh, interactions.